Yeah, hi family. I'm just going to show you how to set signals up to come to your phone from Pocket Options. Okay, <clears throat> it's a great little feature. And what it does is it allows you to just either accept or decline signals that come directly to your phone. Okay, so what you have to do for that is you go to now because it's been set up already, I'm receiving a signal on on my phone and on, on the on the computer, sorry, on the laptop. But what happens is you also have to make sure that you set up um, the telegram on your actual computer. If you haven't set up Telegram on a computer, what you've got to do is you've got to go to the website. Um, if you're on a Mac, you go to you go to um, you you go to your um, um, app store, okay, and then you get it from there. You download Signal onto your laptop, onto your computer. Once you've done that, then what you have to what it will do is it will set up a QR code for you. When you set once a QR code is set up, okay, and this is what it looks like. It looks like roughly like this. This is on a PC. You go to if it's on a PC, what you do is you go to your um, you find you find Telegram, the, the the which is the program, right? And you click on it, and then it will take you. And then you have to set up. Make sure you set up Telegram on your on your on your computer whether it be a mac or a pc so once you've done that then you go to literally this will this is a qr code and that will come up and then what you got to do from there is you go to um you go to your telegram app on your phone and then you simply just um put it on to hold on a minute let me do this for you you, you go to settings and then you go to devices and then you go to QR scan QR code, right? Once you go to scan QR code, then you come down here, then you click QR code, and then this screen will come up, and then you have to put the QR code exactly in the middle of that square, right? And then it will just immediately take it all in, and then that's you done, all right? That is on a Mac or a PC. Right, so then when you've done that now, um, and then you, you have to go to um then you have to go to the 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 actual app which is going to send a signal to to your phone then when you do is you click on this once you click on it you're going to see start okay which i've just done for this mac um already now so when you do it for this mac <clears throat> okay um once you've done it, 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 it automatically goes to your phone. So it, when it, once it goes to your phone, because you've connected your phone to the PC, then what you do is you press start. When you press start now, you're going to get a set of rules, okay? Oops. You're going to get a set of rules, um, um, or I should say settings, right? Now, the settings actually allow you to set up exactly how much you want to spend how much you want to um let me just click it for you so wait uh there's there's one at the top that should i think it's this one okay It's already started sending signals, but I haven't set the parameters. So you have to set the parameters in it. But because I've, I, I didn't actually set the parameters in this one. All I did was, all I did was, I um set it up. So it should give you another set of parameters where you actually set up exactly um how much uh you wish to um like your trade amount okay it's supposed to set up your trade amount and it sets up um the time and once it's set up the time and everything then that is that and then it will just literally send signals to your phone and when it sends signals to your phone another thing that you can do is so one minute so it says welcome to the official pocket option signal bot 
okay set the required parameters and open trades instantly with the with the uh, help of the bot all right so what you got to do is there it is here you press this button settings okay once you've pressed press settings what you then do is you decide on your amount so you click amount here right so this is your amount from one pound five pound dollars sorry ten dollars fifteen dollars so i'll let's just say i'll set it for ten dollars okay so that amount is set then you do auto trade you can click auto trade for it to auto trade for you whether you want it on or off okay i'm leaving it off for now all right then there's trade type all right, so you can do either live trade or demo. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it on the demo. Okay, and then there's accuracy. Now, uh, we want the accuracy obviously as high as possible. So let's click 95%. And as you see, every time you set it, it sets exactly what parameter you want. Then there's the payout. All right, now you want the payout to be as high as possible, so I'm gonna set it for 95%. All right, then there's the expiration date, the expiration time, sorry. So I'm gonna set mine for two minutes, but I think I set my previous one for two minutes. I'm gonna set this one for three minutes. No, I'm gonna set it for, for two minutes. So you see, oops, you see, you can just set it. As soon as you set it, okay, it, it, it literally uh, logs it for you. Okay, then there's a limit. Okay, and obviously the limit is, you can set the limit how you want to set the limit. All right, so I'm just gonna set the limit for, oops. Well, it's my demo account, so balance limit, yeah. Um, well, you can see that this demo, this, this demo has got quite a lot going on in it but um, I'll still just set it for, yeah, I'll leave it at 50 pounds then. Okay, and then you have the language, well, obviously the language is English, that's not a problem. And that's the disconnect button if you want to disconnect. All right, so then from there you click close and then that's done. Okay, and everything is set for you. Okay, and once it's all set, So once it's all set, view your current trading account balance. You can actually view your current trading account balance by clicking that, and you see that there. Now, every time you set a trade, that trade is going to fall into place. Uh, um, um, up, and, and it will tell you to be, it will tell you once a trade set, it will tell you, if it says close trade, that means that you lost. But what otherwise from that, it will say, congratulations, um, when the trade, so you click a trade, it comes in, and then once the trade um, is successful, it says, congratulations, and it will tell you what you've won, it will tell you how, what your balance is after that. Whether you close, when you close a trade, um, when it says trade closed, that means that it, it was a lesson, and then you simply just click, uh, you don't click anything. Now, I suggest that you don't click any trades during the weekend, but I mean, it's literally going to send you trades. It will send you all types of trades as well, not just uh, Forex. All right. So, yeah, um, I've had wins and losses, all types of different things um, on this. OK. OK, so I hope that's that's a bit long, but I hope um, you got the, the, the gist of how you do it.